Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield, where not much has really changed from the last time. Uh, it's only been about a day uh, since I last played this, and I haven't really done anything because I wanted to wait until... Um, basically, I got all the Pokemon evolving on camera, basically, before I went to do anything else. So, just notice there's a uh, little area back here. Yeah, that's dope. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, so the goal today, anyway, I'm only going to be playing probably for not that long. <laughs> So we're just going to try to get to the 5th gym, get that 5th gym badge, also get everyone evolved, so then probably off camera later I'll do some extra stuff, like in the wild area, maybe do some grinding and all that, but right now the main goal today is to just get at least the 5th gym badge. And looks like we'll be heading into the forest here to get to the next town, Glimwood Tangle. Oh, there's that, uh, in Pokemon I found before, but I was able to catch. Can I grab one here? Nice. Yeah, let's catch this dude. Impidim. I like it. Alright, we got Mies up front. Although I'm pretty sure this thing might be a psychic type. Possibly dark. Okay. Sludge Bomb's super effective, so maybe it's fairy? Hopefully this won't kill it. Oh, that will confuse us, I'm pretty sure. Oh, come on, Mies. Man, I was, I've been itching to play this game for a while. I feel so good to play it again. I will try Sledge Bomb one more time. Okay, now we're double confused, I guess. Is that all the mood this Pokemon knows? Alright, come on. Oh, come on, yes. Alright, we'll try once more. Obviously, if he hits himself again, he's just dead, but... I need to try to get some... Are you kidding me? All three times. Okay, let's uh, let's switch to. Uh, hmm, looks like dark is ineffective. Let's switch to. Hmm, let's switch to uh, Frieza. So it seems poison is good against it. Hopefully, it's not these fucking. Alright, good. Alright, let's use... I'm shock probably will kill it, so let's just use Spark. That's fine. Oh my god, it's so freaking weak, dude. Alright, if we find another one, I'm definitely going to try to catch it. I don't really want to look up what type it is. I want to catch it and then find out. Uh, so let's just use a Super Potion really quick. Oh, yes. He took a real big beating there. Yeah, if we run into another one, we're definitely going to try to get, grab one. Let's pick this up, some full heals, nice. Um, I wonder what other Pokemon will, will look like in here popping up. I don't believe I have Repel on. That would be great if we still had green power. Um, since our trainer's this way, let's head the other way. Let's see what's over here. Snore, that's alright. If we had a Snorlax, that'd be great. Or any Pokemon that put itself to sleep. Let's head back the other way. Um, if I know anything from playing video games, it's that you head the obvious direction it looks like you're supposed to go. There's probably something there. So let's see. Oh, there's a chef. You give off light when you touch them. Yeah, I know. Cook Derek. Oh, Milsuri. I still want to find one of these. I can figure out where one is next time. But I believe it's fairy type, so yeah, should be good. Yeah, we're good. Easy peasy. Nice, he's just one more level away. And everyone else pretty much is too. Sinistee? Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's that uh, ghost type Pokemon. Forgot about it, so sure it should do some pretty good damage to it. Hmm, if that was critical, we should be pretty good then. Nice, good damage. Alright, one more assurance. <coughs> assurance. We'll kill it. That shouldn't do much, yeah. Alright, nice, nice. Yeah, actually I did notice that 
Now that I think about it, there are uh, a couple f food related Pokemon in this new one, isn't there? Shenonic, I believe that's just a grass type. So. Let's just keep out and yes. Oh no, wait, I think it's Grass Fairy, so we were, I think we're double effective, so. I believe it's Grass Fairy, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, nice. Got some good XP from that. And we're now starting to make some more money, too. Uh, is that all this here for? What? I thought there was like another path here that we couldn't see. Oh, nope. Well, I guess it's just supposed to trick you. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another imp there, so let me... Uh, first, I'm going to use a citrus berry, actually. I should have some. Yeah, there we go. On, yes. And I'll use one on Frieza, just to be safe. And I'm going to put Frieza up front to try to catch this, so you can just try to nuzzle it right away. And then we'll uh, probably just try to catch it, since it seems like a lot of our moves just kill it. So here we go. Skip the dimp. Alrighty, so we'll start off with a nuzzle. It's the same level as last time. Don't think about camping, man. We got shit to do. Okay, that's fine. I think this just means we can't use the same move twice or something. Uh, it kind of sucks because that means we can't do it again to get a lower, right? Yeah. That's okay. Uh, let's just throw a Pokeball and see what happens. Please. There's great balls, yeah. I don't think a Pokeball is going to work on him at that level. Oh, we got a pretty good chance. Nice. Alright, I can't wait to see what this guy's about. Nice breeze leveled up. First, uh, <laughs> the one I did, level 35. Yeah, I figured it's Dark Fairy. Though its nose, it's through its nose, it sucks in the emanations produced by people and Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off this negative energy. <laughs> Dang, man. Good vibes only, Impidimp. Come on, man. That's interesting typing, though, Dark Fairy. I kind of figured with the moves it was using, and considering Poison was good against it. So let's put Nias back up front. Uh, looks like. I think pretty much everyone evolves, except DDD, I think DDD evolves a level 40, but I think everyone else... No wait, Peter Chris might evolve a level 40? Maybe. I'm not too sure. Is there an area down here? Yes, there is. Oh, okay, this is how we get to that item over here. I'm probably going to run into the Bag of Bright Power. Oh, there's a Pokemon's accuracy. Okay. I might run into the grass a bit, just to see what Pokemon are around here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Like maybe if I see an exclamation point here. Alright, let's see what pops out here. Oh, hey, it's the Sinistee. Yeah, let's catch one. So, since the last time the Assurance uh, just didn't kill it, so let's use that. Ah, crap. Ah, uh, fuck. Hate protect. <laughs> Yeah, let's try once more. That's fine. It makes me wonder though, if it's just exclusively ghost type. I don't remember when this Pokemon was previewed. Alright, let's just go for the Pokeball right now. If it doesn't work, we'll use a Sledge Bomb, which should kill it because it's not very effective. Ah, yeah, alright, we'll go for the Sledge Bomb. How oh, nice we did on this game to protect. Sledge bomb here. It's fine. All right, great. That's actually perfect. So let's try again. Oh come on! I didn't even like. All right, let's try once more. This is why I need to get a move that's not normal that can paralyze things like Thunder Wave or. Um, oh my god, dude. The fuck? <laughs> of course it rings three times the first time when it's like barely any damage to it, but now it's like nothing. 
Come on, I want one. Come on. There we go. Jeez, man. Yeah, it's just ghost. This Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possessed a cold, leftover cup of tea. Sad. Dude, his face is kind of like, what the fuck? Alright, there's a double battle coming up, so we'll leave. Yeah, that actually is fine. He can, yes, yeah, so I'll just use a uh, Citrus Berry or Orange Berry to heal him up. I'll use like two Orange Berries just to get that little bit of health. Away from that halfway mark. Let's fight these losers. The railway. Nine tails and curly. Okay, yeah, that's actually a pretty good matchup for us now. We'll have to get rid of curly right away, which we can do with him, yes. I still got nothing against fire types, which sucks. Alright, so. We will use Super Potion on Leak. And then Leak will. use the attack to defend itself. Because it's probably going to be used. Oh, use that spot. Okay, that's fine. Because I was just planning on healing next turn anyway. So we're gonna. Oh my god, I keep forgetting it does that. Alright, so we're gonna. Sludge Bomb. And then. Uh, knock off. Because Rock Smash, I feel like, would be kind of useless. That's fine. One more uh, go around should do it. Yeah, one more attack from us will end it. I'll choose assurance. And then one more knockoff. <laughs> Bless me. Thank you. Alright, yeah, we won. Even if that missed, the poison would have got him. Oh, sweet. Oh, three leveled up, and I think... Defog. Uh, nah. Keep the same moves. And I'm pretty sure both Umias and Leak are about to evolve. Yep. Oh my god, here we go. Finally. Finally. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Hmm, yes, hmm, quite. Yes, hmm. Yeah, Poison Fairy. This Pokemon consumes particles that contaminate the air. Instead of leaving droppings, it expels clean air. Oh, wow. It's actually a really useful Pokemon for, like, the environment. That's nice. Weezing got a lot of upgrades. Double hit. Uh, you just land the target with a long tail, vines, or a tentacle. It doesn't. It? Oh, I guess like it's using its hat. Let's get rid of self destruct because I prefer that to self destruct. Also, was hoping we'd learn a fairy type move. But I guess now we can teach it one when we get one. Oh, what? Leak didn't evolve? I thought it evolved at uh, 
Level 35. I guess I was wrong. But that's fine. Now that we got Nies up there, let's put Peter Chris up front so we can start getting some experience. Then we actually see if we have any fairy type moves we can teach him. Oh, charm. <laughs> Great. So nothing right now. Mm -hmm. 